So boys and girls, would you like your latest instalment of Call of Duty to have a plot that is based around the notion and the fascist conspiracy theory that communists are infiltrating universities, they're infiltrating the government, they're behind every corner because they're leading some sort of global movement to put the Jews into power and undermine Western democracy from within. Now I have a game for you, something to look forward to. The new Call of Duty Black Ops has released a trailer that plays heavily into this trope. Not only saying there's a communist behind every corner, but communists are responsible for all the things that happened in the US during the Cold War, the protests, the Vietnam, and war, racial riots and everything like that. It's all the communists fault according to Treyarch. Understand what's going on around you. You are in a state of war and you have precious little time to save yourself. process which we call active measures the first stage being demoralization it takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation the next stage is destabilization what matters is essentials economy foreign relations defense systems the next stage is crisis with a violent change of power structure and economy period of normalization. This is what will happen in the United States if you allow all the schmucks to put a big brother government in Washington, D.C. We will promise lots of things, never mind whether the promises are fulfilled or not. time bomb is ticking but every second the disaster is coming closer and closer the danger is real so at the end of the trailer it says know your history or be doomed to repeat it it also says that in the description and to me, that is super disturbing because it seems to be making a reference to a lot of things people are raising alarm bells about, primarily the right wing, Jordan Peterson, Boris Johnson, Donald Trump, pushing this old style fascist conspiracy theory that the Cold War has been lost by the communists. So instead, they are infiltrating academia. They are infiltrating the government. They are behind all this Antifa movement. They are behind Black Lives Matter, any form of protest. It's the communists and of course, Fascists actually believe communists are just a front for the Jewish conspiracy to take over the world. Glad to see that the most popular gaming franchise on earth is really playing into this. Now I'm really happy to see that Treyarch is also using Yuri Bezmenov as an authority on these things. Like what he's saying in that video is completely true when it's not. And we're going to get into Yuri. We're going to get into his comments. I've actually read this whole thing called A Love Letter to America, very similar to what he's saying in that video. I don't know if it's a transcript of what he said or he wrote this afterwards or before, but it's extremely problematic. And many people have accused Yuri of just making this whole thing up to appeal to the American right in the 1980s to really give him a good welcoming in the United States. Because it seems like Yuri himself is a far-right pro-capitalist Christian, or at least he's making himself appear that way so he can actually get into the US and, like I said, be treated very well. So Treyarch have actually unlisted the video because they probably were aware of what was happening, because in the comments, you got loads of neo-Nazis, far-right people, Trump supporters saying that this video was red-pilling people because it was pointing people towards Yuri and his whole conspiracy theory, which I'm gonna debunk in a sec, but let's read some comments. So someone says, this hits a little too close to home as we're seeing what's happening right now. Again, this is probably a right-winger talking about cultural Marxism. Someone else saying, everyone should look up the interview with Yuri Bezmenov. it's real, it's happening. Again, it's cultural Marxism these people are talking about. Other people saying we should watch it, 
bit of a teaser slick relates to ongoing events in America right now. Holy Yuri Bezmanov in a COD trailer. What a way to red pill normies. Based and red pilled. Someone else says seems oddly for a lack of a better term red pilled. Someone else says this is legit what is happening in the US right now. May my heart stop. Someone else saying it should be every American's duty to watch the Yuri Bezmanov interview, especially right now. So nice and disturbing there that the neo-Nazis seem to love this trailer so much. So let's get into Yuri himself. Let's debunk what he is saying and how most of what he said is ridiculous stuff and really plays into my belief and a lot of people's beliefs online that what he is saying was designed to appeal to the far right people who supposedly love him and bring him up today. Based on my analytics, some of you tune out after about five minutes. So let's just say this, Yuri Bezmanov basically pushes cultural Marxism. That is essentially the whole thing he's talking about in that interview, in this transcript I'm going to read. He essentially is the ex-Soviet Jordan Peterson. Seriously, if you know Jordan Peterson's stance on cultural Marxism, you know about Yuri. And if you know about cultural Marxism in general and how it was invented in the 1930s to describe the Frankfurt School philosophers, you know, saying their stance on sexual liberation, stance on, you know, equality for minorities, stances on a lot of things like that, was all designed to undermine Western society. Of course, fascists also took that and cultural Bolshevism to say that all communist movements in the world are trying to undermine Western values so the Jews can take over the world. And even if you leave the Jewish part out, it's not hard for fascists to attach that onto it. So I read this Yuri thing so you guys don't have to, but let's get into a lot of it. Let's set the scene with the start of what you were saying. So, my dear friends, I think you're in big trouble. Whether you believe it or not, you are at war and you may lose this war very soon together with all your affluence and freedoms unless you start defending yourselves. I hope you have noticed on your colored televisions that there is in fact a war going on right now all over this planet. The war has many faces but it's all the same. Some call it national liberation, some title it class struggle or political terrorism, others call it anti-colonialism or struggle for majority rule. Some even come up with such fancy names as war of patriotic forces or peace movements. So you heard it from Yuri here, anti-colonialism, peace movements and national liberation are all bad things and are all fronts for the Soviet Union. So the war of the communist world aggression is not fought against some mythological capitalists as communist propaganda claims. No, my dear friends, this war is fought against you personally. Communist wars of world aggression are not fought for liberty and equality. We have thousands of unequivocal examples of horrendous human suffering, torture and mass death that occurs after a Soviet liberation. The final stage of communist aggression has very little to do with rivalry for territory or geopolitical gains in order to free and liberate. Communist world aggression is a total war against humanity and human civilization. In communist propaganda terms, it's the final struggle for the victory of communism. Of course, this is grossly exaggerated and it also ignores that nearly all communist revolutions are a response to capitalism. They don't organically come out of a really peaceful society where everyone is prosperous. It's normally that the capitalist class drive them to you know, violent revolution. You see that in the Russian Revolution, you see that in Vietnam, you see that in Cuba, you see that in Nicaragua. Nearly every time this happens, it's a response to capitalism. So this little paragraph is just straight up cultural Marxism. It really sounds exactly the same. So in a secret document allegedly authored by the Communist International for their young revolutionaries, the document titled Rules of Revolution, one, corrupt the young, get them interested in sex, oh, that's only a communist thing, take them away from religion, make them superficial and enfeeble, Two, divide the people into hostile groups. They're constantly harping on controversial issues of no importance. And you see how people think this applies to today. People think, you know, the fight for equality for minorities, for the LGBT community is ridiculous. And they say it's just us trying to divide people. Of course, it's a struggle for equality. Nothing to do with Soviets controlling us. Three, destroy people's faith in their national leaders by holding up the latter for content, ridicule, and disgrace. I think national leaders from Boris Johnson to Donald Trump and multiple others embarrass themselves a lot without us and the communists supposedly doing it. And then four, always preach democracy but seize power as fast and as ruthlessly as possible. Again, how hypocritical is that that he's saying that the communists are telling young people to do this but the US literally has done that since its inception with nearly every bit of territory it's taken over and nearly every war the US has done. It's justified through saying we are bringing democracy to places. Again, you know this Yuri guy is completely full of shit and no one should take him seriously. It's Jordan Peterson mixed in with some neoconservatives. So Yuri also throws a nice bit of eugenics into the mix. So he goes on to say, all you have to do to screw up the status quo of a free nation is to borrow one false idea from the ideology of a communist or totalitarian government. For the sake of simplicity, I've chosen the idea of egalitarianism. People born equal therefore must be equal. Yeah, that sounds nice. 
That's a pretty good concept right there. Sounds great. Yep, it does. But look at yourselves. Were you born equal? Some of you weighed seven pounds at birth. Others six or five. Are you now equal? So Yuri, if we take this to another extent, do you think disabled people are equal? According to you, if you weigh more or less, that affects how equal you are to other humans. So if you're disabled, are you equal to people? Again, you see where this can lead. So in any way, physically, mentally, emotionally, racially, spiritually, some are tall and dumb, others short, bored and clever. Now let's figure out what will happen if we legislate equality and make the concept of equality a cornerstone and pillar of socioeconomic and political systems, all right? You don't have to be a great economist or socialist to foresee that some people who are less equal would demand as much as those who are more equal by law. So what Yuri is saying is that you shouldn't legislate laws where everyone is treated fairly and equally in a country. Again, this is a guy that Treyarch thinks is okay to put in its trailers. This is a guy that, you know, Nazis and people on the right, just general conservatives, think we should listen to. A guy saying that based on physical differences that you may be born with, whether that is race, whether that is maybe having some mental problems, neurological problems, maybe having some physical disabilities, mental disabilities, you shouldn't be equal to everyone else because you're not equal in the eyes of Yuri. So very nice, thanks Treyarch for pointing a bunch of people in this guy's direction and basing your whole narrative around him. Do you know how I said that Yuri is really trying to appeal to the Americans? I think this paragraph sums it up perfectly. So, to change the direction of America's future and to return it to the basic American values proven to be efficient and productive for almost 200 years, 200 years of historically unprecedented freedom, and affluence, you have to educate a new generation of Americans, this time in the spirit of patriotism and capitalism. Again, this all sounds like fascism and he's sanitizing US history. Freedom for who exactly in America? Not freedom for the natives, not freedom for the African Americans who are in chains hundreds of years. So all right, you don't want to return, you'd rather have something new and progressive and constructive to make America once again respected and loved all over the world. In any case, even if you start the education of a new generation of Americans right this minute, it will take you 15 to 20 years to, to raise this new generation to levels of power and authority. Again, that is a ridiculous notion. When have capitalists not been in power in America? And this is during the Reagan era. So let's have a look, Reagan, Bush, Bill Clinton, Bush, Obama, Trump. So Obama was born like 20 years before the speech. So what is this guy talking about? Why does he think it would take 15 to 20 years to train a new generation of Americans in being pro-capitalist and pro-patriotic? It's only gotten worse since he said this. So Yuri seems like a fine person. I wonder what he thinks of racism. Does he think that all problems of race are really drummed up by the communists in America to make an issue to help them seize power? Just like people who used to talk about cultural Marxism in the 30s believe of the Frankfurt School. So Treyarch's best mate Yuri says, Racial and ethnic interrelations is one of the most vulnerable areas for demoralization. There is not a single communist country where racial groups are equal and enjoy as much freedom to develop themselves culturally and economically as in America. Actually, there are not too many capitalist countries where ethnic minorities have it as good as the USA. So I've been to many countries in the world and I can say to you, my dear Americans, that your society is the least discriminatory. The communist solution for racial problems is final. They simply murder those who are different and stubbornly insist on remaining different. But unfortunately, an average American never recalls these commonly known facts when his attention is drawn to domestic racial discrimination issues by those who profess racial harmony along the socialist principle guidelines. Why? Simple, because America's race discrimination fighters never mention these facts. If the USA was located on a separate planet from the communists, I would probably agree with Martin Luther King when he said America is a racist country. But when these statements are made in this planet and the most integrated nation in the world, I say to your fighters for racial equality, you are hypocrites and instruments of demoralization. The American traditional solution of racial and ethnic problems is slow but efficient. The melting pot which raises the least developed groups to a higher level it has worked for more than a century of American history and created the most harmonious and productive nation on earth. So get a load of this part. The present day solution to racial inequality is borrowed from the communist mythology, equality of all racial and ethnic groups, legislated by the government and enforced by state bureaucracies. So Yuri thinks that the state enforcing laws to help with racial equality and to help end racial discrimination is a bad thing. This is the guy that Treyarch wants to base their whole trailer on, their whole story on. The guy who believes the state should not make laws to stop racial discrimination. We know perfectly well that neither races nor individuals are equal in every respect. We know that every nation and race has its peculiar character, abilities, traditions, mentality, and ability to learn 
at its individual pace of development, by mimicking the Soviet national policy of equality, America simply erases distinct racial characteristics which have made this country great. So a nice dose of racism from Yuri there. Again, what a great guy, Treyarch. Please make more stories based on this guy making up stuff so he can get in with the American far right to make a new cushy home for himself after he defected from the Soviet Union. So Treyarch, I'm so, so thankful that you use this guy in your trailer, your your trailer for a really, really anticipated game, taking Call of Duty back to the Cold War. I'm so happy you spread the message of a guy who sees a Marxist behind every corner, tells the Americans and tells now your audience that every progressive movement in America, from unions, from people who want to fight for racial equality, from people who want to fight against colonialism, from people who want to fight for just general civil rights, it's actually part of a Marxist plot. And as you say in your trailer, those who do not remember history, like Yuri said, they're doomed to repeat it. Who are you signaling to with this messaging? Could it be the people who think Black Lives Matter are controlled by Marxists, they think Antifa is everywhere, and they think all these people are bankrolled by the Jewish billionaire George Soros. So I congratulate you, Treyarch, on using a fascist conspiracy theory for your advertising. I hope it gets you all the players you want. And of course, I'm immensely looking forward to the nuance this plot will show. When you base it all around a guy who's just trying to get in with the American right wing during the era of Reagan, a guy who's promoted by fascists, a guy who's promoted by people like Jordan Peterson, a guy who's promoted to shit on people who are just fighting to make everyone's life better because we believe that all humans, like the Declaration of Independence says, are created equal, even though people like Yuri don't. So on multiple levels, I find this trailer extremely disturbing. It's disturbing for using this guy. It's disturbing for pushing this conspiracy theory and the images it shows linking Marxists to all these things, like the like it's a bad thing, essentially, like protests against the Vietnam War or saying Marxists are manipulating Americans to do the Vietnam War. And strangely, it also sanitizes American war crimes because it makes it seem like it's not their fault. They were being manipulated from within by the Marxists. And on another level, it's knowingly appealing to people who are red-pilled, the far right in America, who will take these images, apply it to now, but they will take Yuri's message that it's part of a plot. And again, fascists like to jump on cultural Marxism, take it one step further, apply some cultural Bolshevism and say, yeah, these communists, that's all bad and everything, but do you know who's controlling them? The Jews. And why are they doing it? To take over the world. And I'm not without nuance, I'm not an idiot, I'm not pretending that the KGB and Russia today wouldn't see an opportunity with groups who are anti-establishment in America. Of course they would. The same way America sees opportunity with the Hong Kong protesters, they saw opportunity with the dissidents in the Soviet Union or the dissidents in communist Poland. Let's not pretend states don't do this. And at the moment, Russia and China are using bot farms to amplify things like QAnon and all this anti-vaccine, anti-mask stuff, not because they believe in it, it's because they know they can use this to undermine the US government. Just like they would do back in the 60s, it's not that they created these movements, these were organic movements that, of course, geopolitically, the Russians and the communists saw that they could use these to further their agenda of anti-Americanism. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you as annoyed as me? Please like the video. Maybe share the video to get it out there of, you know, all the awful things this Yuri guy said, regardless of his motivation. Follow me on social media at The Cavernacle, Twitter and Instagram. Also my Reddit, u slash Tommy Cahill 1995. Also r slash Cavernacle. Check out my Patreon in the description. Also also my Medium and my WordPress, and if you made it this far, thank you for watching.